<laughs> Alrighty, the number one shit, Lusty Argonian Maid, filmed by the Byron Cavendish, once again doing engineer captaining. I, I'm gonna have to watch these replays in more detail. <laughs> anyway, we're seeing the same thing from him, the triple Artemis left side, and the carousel Hades uh, bottom. And then on the Feast on Thrones, uh, where they've gone to a double junker. On their left side is once again that gentlemanly triple Artemis left hand side, and the uh, carronade mortar right hand side. Mm, they, they, and now this is this this one does have a pilot though. Okay, interesting. What are we seeing on the blue team? Alrighty, for the Mad Hatters we have the Furious <laughs> Vakari piloted by Zuka Fry. We have a fairly standard uh, Gatling mortar front, coupled with an Artemis front left and uh, beacon flare rear left. The Gravitation, piloted by Matissimo, again, looks like Gat Mortar, uh, and it has a slightly more long-range left side with Artemis front and Mercury rear there. Huh. Generally, they bring that side when both of those premiums have that side, so they can just kind of, you know, do their sniping thing by turning to the left-hand side. I'm surprised to only see one ship doing that. Well, I think they've, considering the map, you know, I don't think it's a bad idea at all to uh, use a flare on, on this. Oh one. no, it, it definitely makes sense to bring a flare. I guess I'm just not sure why gravi uh, <laughs> gravitation went ahead and still brought that long range side. Yeah, I mean, It I can, won't be that effective I can, alone. I, I see why they brought the Artemis. You know, It's easy to get that trifecta on it, although it is difficult in a sense because the, the turning is so slow. But right. These, the, right. The blue We're seeing a charge already onto the Lesi Argonian May. They're just trying to get through those Artemises, not give the Junkers a chance to even set up Oh my! <laughs> yeah, it looks like the a strong charge. Unless they're going to made lost uh, lost that balloon. Although we're seeing Byron popping that tar. Yeah, very useful. And gravitation might go down from all the junker. I mean, all the uh, Artemis, and it does. All that. Unless they're going to made though is in trouble. Furious of Valke is actually almost using Byron's tar to his advantage. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering where all those disables came from on the maid. Was that the left side Artemis on the Furious Vakari, or was it a self-tar? You know, it might have been from chain guns just taking out, you know, yeah, that's, maybe it was I just way too, it could have been too much tar, he and lost just all, all the shots engines, coming in from though. the back. Lost all his engines. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it was tool over usage, I'm not sure. Vakari's in a bit of a bad state here. Um, mm -hmm. Not seeing as many disables from these Artemises. As I'm accustomed well, I mean, to, but it's not looking good. The Vakari lost his front guns. That's why we saw the Vakari, uh, you know, try to get out of this combat. Yeah. And where is his buddy Gravit? All right, here comes the Gravitation. Now the Gravitation get in here soon enough before the Lesser Argonian Maid can even return the engagement. Gunner on the Gravitation could see there, the Mad opening uh, up switches. just a bit too early, wasting probably 10 to 15 shots on that Galling clip. Very, pretty important to get all those shots on target on a Junker here. Um, junker Hall is really, really beefy, and you got to make sure all your shots... Well, the Gravitation, though, did just save the uh, Furious Vakari, but it might have been at the cost of the Gravitation. Maybe here. Gravitation's balloon is down. Armor's about to go down here. Starting to see the Hades Banshee side, I believe, coming into Oh, no. Play. Gravitation's down. Lost the, he lost the balloon for a while. Yeah. Oh, armor went down. Here comes the Vakari. Oh, God. This is not good. <laughs> yeah. You know, all the things Very being rough. equal, I, I will always favor a Junker over a Pyramidian. I feel like the... I mean, obviously this is... I may be in the minority here, but I feel like the the skill ceiling... The, 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 you, you, with a better crew, you will get more out of a Junker than you will a Pyramidian. Nine times out of ten. Definitely for a Gat Mortar Brawl, I'd say. The Junker will reign supreme over a Gat Mortar Pyramidian. Now, when it comes to other weapons, you know, like, uh, Met, you know, Hades, Flak, those are generally better suited for Pyramidians that are, you know, doing some kiting sort of things That's and stuff true. like that. But also, it but also I mean, depends on the map, yeah. True. Here, though, I think the Junkers, you know, in the tight spaces of, of Periton, I feel like Junkers have an advantage compared to Pyramidians. Just in general, obviously, this is a very broad statement, but... I guess that's in your way of praising TFD, who almost beat us here. They're double <laughs> Pyramidians versus our double Junkers. That's true. <laughs> Alright, so true. we're seeing a lull while uh, both teams are trying to get their stuff together. We saw two very powerful charges by... Uh, is it Gravitation Zuka? Um, no, it's Matissimo. 
Two very strong charges by the gravitation, but neither able to finish a kill on either ship. Yeah. Pyramidians, you know, very big, very vulnerable, slow to turn. A good jungler mm -hmm. pilot will flank a Pyramidian in about three seconds, unless the Pyramidian's backpedaling, in which case that's a big pain in the butt. But that's and really, any good that's really the only thing a Pyramidian the, can do. Those engines of the Pyramidian. Yeah, exactly. That's really the only thing that a Pyramidian can do versus a junker. A good junker pilot, well, here I go again, but... Flanking in junkers is really it's like instant pyramidian death nine times out of ten. Alrighty, we're seeing some long range shots while the uh, Mad Hatter's just trying to get out of that Artemis. <laughs> Every engine down on the Vicari, but he was able to just barely get past that building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually think he burned out his own engine trying to oh, get really? out of there. He, uh, he, he, well, he lost the two turns, but. Mm. Uh, I saw him kerosening till the end, <laughs> trying yeah. to just get out of that arc. Could be I can't either, either moonshine or kerosene. Yeah, I guess it was kerosene, but he is bringing both. So. Wait, he has both. Yeah, Matissimo has both moonshine and kerosene and cloth. Oh no, this was um the Furious Vicari. The Furious Vicari, okay. Who only has the uh, kerosene? Right. <laughs> if you look at a uh, Zuka's loadout real quick, see those impact bumpers. Right, yeah. That guy's ready for it. That guy's this definitely is ready to ram. ram. All right, we have. Looks <laughs> I mean, like we saw gonna, it twice. Going to have another charge going down here. This is a slightly better angle for the Hatters here. They've managed to screen the Argonian maid against some of those buildings. <sighs> but I mean, as soon as they get passed out of there, Argonian maid's going to be opening up. Right. And that will be with the uh, carousel magma side. Right. V both that's front guns down on the Vicari. One of the engines down on the Vicari. Lots of fires going down from the Banshee and Hades. Oof, nah, this frontal charge isn't going to work at all. No. Vicari is about dead. Yeah. Gravitation probably going to get a ram, but nope, he misses. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think this might be GG. I do believe you may be right. Because Gravitation easy. ain't running. Gravitation is taking a tremendous amount of and damage, and down he goes. A 5-0 victory for the gents in their, in their double junker. Dangerous stuff, those junkers. Against all odds, Frogger. <laughs> That's right, against, against all, against all odds. odds. 48 minutes after the start, we have had three gentlemen games. Yeah. Who'd have thought? I, <laughs> I had canceled my even plans. They're trying to mix it up a bit, I guess. I mean, you know, it's really good to, to take as many opportunities as you can to try out different game styles. You know, it's good to... Right. If you're a sniper, it's good to play as a charger every now and then. And if you're a charger, it's good to play as a sniper just to kind of see how your enemy might be thinking. <laughs> so maybe they took the opportunity Our during the... trilogy of games the Duck December to Come do on. just that. <laughs> well, and I mean, they definitely did look hey, at that first we match. switched it in the beginning. That, you know, the 